Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video brought to you by Rob's Mind. And today we are going to be checking out another viewer request by Mando Jukes. Thank you very much for this request. This is an auto wheat, uh, carrot, and potato farm all at once. So what you'll do is you'll grab your seeds, carrots, or potatoes, start planting and walk on the pressure plate, hold down the plant button, and just that's it. Just stay in there as long as you want to. And as you can see right here, if I can open up a dispenser, it is not using any of your bone meal if you are not planting anything. So that is actually pretty nifty. As you can see right here, you get a pretty ama good amount of wheat, uh, carrots, or potatoes from this thing. What you're going to need is two sticky pistons, one redstone torch, three redstone repeaters, two redstone comparators, ten pieces of redstone, two hoppers, three dispensers, one pressure plate of your choice, 12 circuit blocks, one furnace, I do recommend grabbing a stack of dirt and a stack of wood planks because the wood planks aren't going to burn up your dirt and you won't end up with too little of items in your furnace. Then you'll need a water bucket, a hoe, which let's all admit we, got a di we all got a diamond hoe, and then one piece of dirt, and your decoration blocks. And that is it. That's all you're going to need for this farm. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So we're going to start this out by placing two blocks, remove the bottom one, and place your pressure plate on top of there. Then we are going to go right underneath there and place a sticky piston going off to one direction, and another sticky piston behind it going facing up. Place your dirt block on top of there, and that is where we will be doing all of our planting. Diagonal to the dirt block, we are going to place kind of a ring just like that around it. You'll end up with three blocks in that kind of form, and put your dispensers up there just like that alright so we're liking how that looks the next thing that we are gonna go ahead and do is let's get some more of these components in my hands we are gonna go ahead and stick our furnace here but before we are going to we're gonna grab a block put it there with a redstone torch so it'll be right under our furnace that is actually powering that furnace so then we'll put the dirt and planks in there. Like I said, I would recommend using that just so it doesn't burn up uh, all of your fuel and then you end up with less blocks in your furnace. That will affect the design of this. Place your two hoppers feeding into each other. So as of right now, one of those hoppers is powered thanks to that furnace. The way we can check that is just like this. There would be an item flashing in and out of there. This item is locked in that hopper as long as it is powered. Next thing you're going to want to do is actually cover those two hoppers because I've had issues where if you don't have those covered, the items will sometimes float down into those hoppers and then that'll mess it up. That's your whole clock. So there we go. Build a ring around this part right here and then a block right there. And that is actually going to be where your water source block is going to go. That will hydrate your dirt. Coming out of this hopper right here, we're going to place a comparator running into a block, repeater running out of that block into another block with a redstone torch on the face of that, pointing at the piston. That's going to fire that dirt block right up and keep it up until we press on the pressure plate. Then what that'll do is cycle it down, then up, down, up, down, up. Next thing we are going to do is go one block away from our furnace, place a comparator right there. That way when the furnace is extended while we're on the pressure plate, it will power this comparator clock. The way you do that is set your comparator to subtract mode. And then we're going to make a formation of blocks just like this, just kind of leading its way up here. Lead them just like this. Place a block up right behind that dispenser. That's very important to power that middle dispenser there. Then we're going to stick a repeater here and here and then fill the rest of these circuit blocks with redstone on the top of them. So we're going to do that just like this. Bring it down, get it all filled in. And there we go, that's just what we wanted there. Now I believe the next thing that we have to do is go ahead and step on our pressure plate and place our water source block right behind this dirt block. So we're going to head and step here we're gonna get our water bucket ready that would probably be a smart idea get our hoe ready as well we're gonna go ahead and place 
this water block back here and till that dirt and there we go and then the pressure plate will also keep this so that the whole design it doesn't spill the water all over the place if you walk away so now I'm gonna build up this little frame and platform right here so that we got something a little bit better to work with just build it up something like this okay then we are going to fill these in with bone meal this farm does consume a decent amount of bone meal so if you are short on bone meal in your world I am currently working on a uh, bone meal farm that does not need a skeleton spawner so you can look forward to that coming in one of my upcoming videos here we go we'll just grab our seeds and there it is we are getting wheat to fully grow and harvest right right away so that that's it that's all there is to it please do make sure that you grab all your seeds off of this thing or else it'll annoy you to death uh, but if you did find this useful please do hit that like button leave me a comment and please do subscribe to the channel it helps me a whole lot this has been Rob's Mind Thank you for watching, and I'm out.